In fact, we have different sorts of careers at present in front of us like after we pass class 12 and after we go for graduation, post graduation and meanwhile we are like thinking what we have to do, what we have not to do and there are various kinds of prospects which are open at today and at the doorstep using information technology we can get any sort of information any kind of information the field in which we want to proceed further but there is a very interesting field and which attracts a lot of people at present and uh, if we see in depth so that is the question rise whether we should go in the field of education become a lifetime learner because whatever profession you choose if you want to excel in that field you have to be a lifetime learner but especially in the field of education, in the field of academics, there are a lot of opportunities in which you see yourself uh, challenging yourself every day, every minute, every second because you have to get the conceptual clarity at your own level and you have to do it same with others. So like in the field of academics, uh, someone who holds an advanced degree and works as a researcher at an university and college uh, in education, that kind of person is called that he is working in the field of academics. And the career in the field of academia is really very pleasant prospects and you will find that you are working and studying and you want to work and to study the same thing because that is of your interest. And there we have various kind of things which we need to do but it is moreover it is a way of life and a way of thinking because if you are planning to become an academician what are the steps of primarily we need to choose our discipline the discipline in which we want to excel and there are various things like psychology computer science yogic science uh, chemistry biology physics aeronautics but we have to choose one that in which we want to move further and like it's very very things like people study various subjects so like during their 10th class during their 12th class they study various subjects but now when we are moving towards a higher level so we have to focus on like primarily one or two subjects but uh, at present uh, there is a new scenario which is coming in that is of interdisciplinarity you can opt for mutual subjects two or three subjects and in, you can find a common thread between all those two or three subjects and in which you want uh, you can proceed further and you can do something which is very interesting uh, the second thing is that uh, you need to become literate uh, being literate or becoming literate means that uh, you have some like you have started reading some kind of books and particularly in your subject you have started reading few books and you can start it with some classical novels but the first thing is that you are studying something related to your discipline and you are really enjoying it and then the same some other things which you know to uh, want to add is that uh, take in some culture not only do you need to read extensively but culture is important too like try and make it to play in a theater production to uh, sample some good old-fashioned culture not all of being an academic in center around being a bookworm like it's not only necessary that if you are thinking of uh, being an academician so it's like you need only to study books and now you are focused and this is the only thing which you are going to do but meanwhile you can uh, develop a new culture of like learning some other things related with that particular stream what other we can think of is like look it up like a major part of being academic is being curious investigate and eager to learn these three things are very important you have to be very curious you have to start investigating for new things and you have to uh, have a thirst or you have a great eager to learn if there is a new world you discover a book you would not heard of or a subset of history you would like in context look it up in the modern age, this doesn't necessarily mean whispering out a history book or dictionary, but it means looking around the internet, like whatever the new terms that are coming in your field and if you are not aware of it, you must think on it. Because anyhow, the new words, new scenario, new technology, whatever is coming, you must be aware of it. And it does not only mean that you need to study books, you need to do this and that. At present, everything is available on the internet. So if you are on internet, you can use your time in a better manner and this is how you can be uh, good at your subject. Like other thing is that being become fluent, like a major part of being academic is extend your vocabulary and grip of language. If you are in the field of academics, you need to be very good at English, you have to work good vocabulary and if you notice mistake in your grammar, take steps to correct them. If you need be, investigate grammar books, not knowing where to put your apostrophes and what synonyms and also, and those things you all need to do is 
through technology, reduce all errors and be fluent. And the thing which is important is study. If you are in work, see if you can enroll on some part-time college or university courses. If you are in school, try uh, and really get into your classes and get involved in extra study-based activities. Like studying properly is another key of being academic. So a topic like the science required hand-on work and that you can only really get at a college or a school and make some extra important. Like all you need to do is that on one side you have done your graduation post graduation doctorate but along with that you must keep on studying and studying and studying the another thing is apply yourself like keep working at it if you want to really win, uh, be an academic keep focused and keep studying losing interest for a while makes it a much harder mountain to climb when you start again like once you have started you have to keep on reading like uh, get a job in it if you are really committed to the academic way of life, get an academic job. Apply at college and university, the chances of doing this are very small with about only one teaching job available like, uh, for every 10 PhD produced. This is because every academic typically trains uh, around 10 new PhDs as like it is a primary pyramid structure. But like meanwhile, you can work for it and you can get a job on the basis of your degrees, whatever you are opting for. And the thing is that seek tenure. The ultimate achievement is all about like you have to work for a while. It is not like automatically the things are going to come to your part, but you have to invest your time. So overall thing which we derive out of the whole discussion is that being focused, study, 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 and just go into the field of learning. Like be a proud learner forever. And this is how you can be included academic.